Hello, Juan Carlos. Good evening. Carlos Antonio, welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Yeah, very tired and I still work. Really? You're still at work? Yes, Oh, sir. my God. And where do you work? Where? Uh -huh. In San Salvador, Movie Plus. Oh, yeah, you told me already. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah, you told me about it. Yes, I just forgot. But today, I had to work oh, my. Night. in the night, at the night. At night, you say at, at night. night. And you go all, all night long or you have a specific schedule? Uh, today is a different day. Okay. It's a lot of work. Okay. Yeah. Well, so hopefully it's not going to be full of people. Miss Cristia, it's nice to see you. Hello, Carlos Antonio as well. Good evening. Hello, Carlos. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Miss Cristia, it's a pleasure to see you again. Hello, Miss. Me Hello. too. I'm glad to see you. Oh, it's so yes. nice. It's so nice to have you here, even on the last day of class. <laughs> on my last day of class. <laughs> yeah i miss you teacher yeah but you know i i was i was talking with the teacher that's going to take the group because on on monday i am leaving for the scholarship right so uh, you are going to stay in very good hands okay ya dejo ahí todo a la teacher yo dije mire son bien mal creados no, es que, vaya, ah, creo que a Wendy no le había contado. El, eh, yo tengo, el, en la próxima semana, tengo un viaje programado porque me lo llevo a todos ustedes para allá, para Estados Unidos, porque voy a, en una beca de excelencia docente. Entonces, eh, somos eh, solo un representante de cada país. Los que vamos son 168 países los que están representados. Y pues yo tengo el honorazo de llevármelos a ustedes y contar por allá lo que yo hago con ustedes, cómo son las clases, qué hacemos, cómo se enseña en El Salvador, cómo es la educación en nuestro país y todo. ¿verdad? Así que me lo voy a llevar por ahí. ¿verdad? Ya me les robé unas cuantas capturas de pantalla. <risa> Estos son mis chicos, miren, le voy a decir por allá. Así que. Eh, pero sí, ya este, está una teacher que está lista ya para cubrirlo. Ya estuve platicando con ella, ya le conté cada caso, cómo es. Yo le dije, mire, son bien traviesos, le dije, son bien picados. Mentira, <risa> hacen un gran relajo en clase. Le dije. No, son un amor. Le dije, ya las encargué ahí para que desarrollen días? todos. Seis semanas. Seis semanas. Ya no nos va a dar clase. Bien, cuando venga, pues obviamente ustedes ya van a estar en el otro modo. Los primeros días ya los agarré Ay, en sí. el siguiente. <ríe> sí, pues bueno, voy a volver, no sí, crean. <ríe> ya, pero miren, es, yo sí estoy muy contenta de pues llevármelos a todos, ir a representar a, a este país tan bonito. Hay un evento como este. Así que todos. Congrats, teacher. Congratulations. We're very happy for you. Thank you very much. I will send you pictures. Thank you. Thank you. I am going to send you pictures of Arkansas and, and all the different things that we are going to be doing. So I, I am very, I am very excited, right? Everything is like a mix of emotions because we have to prepare everything and running from here to there, but yeah, it's cool. I mean, every every time when you are going to travel, you feel in the stomach, the, the, the emotion, the anxiousness of traveling. But then when you are on the sky and you see the beautiness of God, so it's really amazing. So 
I am looking forward to that. Well, my dear students, today it's Friday and our body knows that we practice English, right? <laughs> because we are here. As you know, right? We have the different agreements that you have to follow, right? Even when I am not here, you have to follow the agreements. Hello, Mr. Mario, welcome. We're going to practice English as much as possible, right? Remember, ask for help whenever you need. Be responsible about your learning. What is the next one? What is the next agreement? Keep your cameras. On, on all, the time. all the time, right? Keep your cameras on all the time. What is the next one? Keep, Keep micro microphones off if we are not using them. Keep yeah. microphones off if you're not using it. What is the next one? Uh, attend, all your on time. On time. attend all your sessions on time. Exactly like that. What is the next one? Participate as much as possible. Participate as much as possible. Very good job. What is the next one? Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Good. What is the next one? Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. Very good job. Okay, so that is basically what you need to remember, right? Collaborate, help each other, help your friends when uh, you are connected, whenever you need help. So make sure that you help each other, right? If you have any type of question, remember that it is necessary that you ask. And if you find new materials, new things, it is good that you share it, okay? So, as I have here in the presentation, please work on the platform every single day. It is important, right? Highlights about your day. Who wants to share something nice that happened to you? I need one volunteer who wants to share something nice that happened today. Think of your day and think about something nice that has happened to you. Only one thing. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm very uh, happy to be here again. Uh, today in my work, uh, I have a very busy day, but I felt very excited when I have a uh, when I received the email uh, with the confirmation about my English class <laughs> because. I I have a uh, talking with the with the person to human resources uh -huh. on my company on my company and I tell her hey what happened with my my with my English class because they start on Monday and I didn't receive the class and I want to be here and and her tell me uh, yes Christia I'm working on it and and then I received the, the email and I'm very excited. That is pretty awesome, right? That it's really, really awesome that you are here. I got very happy when I saw your name and I said like, hey, this guy's here. <laughs> and that is really nice, right? Yes, that, it's, that it's very nice to have you here and for sure to have the opportunity to share again, okay? Someone else who wants to share something nice about your day? Mi teacher. Go ahead. Uh, my days was my day was very happy because I started to my vacation two days. Uh, I I I have a uh, fifteen days uh, without work. Uh, yesterday I couldn't connect. Connect? I couldn't connect. You say I couldn't connect. I, I couldn't connect because I was finished uh, some activities at work that I I I wanted to finish before mm -hmm. to leave. 
before leaving. You say, I wanted before. to I wanted to finish before leaving. Right? Before leaving. How nice. Enjoy your vacations. Very well deserved. And please make sure that you enjoy the vacation. If you say, out of work. Yeah, out of work. It's not like, solo voy a mandar ese correo. Solo voy a hacer esto. Solo, I mean, enjoy yeah. your vacations. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it happened during... I know. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I know, I know. It happens, right? Yeah. Yes. My boss told me, right? Pero me va a contestar los WhatsApps ahí en Arkansas. And I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. I will. So, you see, uh, enjoy your vacations. They are very well deserved. Very good. Thank job. you. Thank you, Juan de Dios. And... For sure. Yesterday, what did we talk about yesterday? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Yesterday was a tough day for learning. Ayer les saqué humo de los seres. The, the, the speech. Aha, reported speech. Reported speech, reported speech right? Reported we talk about... Different reported speech and the different forms of yeah, and the different yeah. usage, right? Yes. That's what we were talking about. Can you give me one example of a sentence in reported speech? Okay, teacher. Um, Juan de Dios, uh, he, he said. Uh -huh. Juan de Dios or he? Use one. He, okay, he said. He, he said he he start he was start he was start the 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 vacations today. Okay, Juan de Dios say I am starting my vacation. So you say Juan de Dios said he was starting his vacation, starting, right? Starting. He was starting his vacation. So very vacation. good job. Any other example? One sentence in reported speech. Pueden ser de los ejemplos que vimos ayer, de los que escribieron, de los que copiaron de la clase. One example. One example of an, a reported speech. Manuel, I cannot see your camera. Jose Jonathan either, Juan Carlos, Maria Elena. Sorry, teacher. Sorry, sorry. Don't worry. Ah, but Maria Elena is driving, I think. Mario, I cannot see your camera. De Anita or in Jose Rodrigo. I cannot see your cameras, my dear class. Okay, so think about the examples, right? Think about the examples that we studied yesterday, right? And we are going to cover up some others. I am going to give you some other examples. Think about it. If you don't remember the examples, Google it. Google uh, an example, right? Examples of reported speech, and then you can read one. Google the sentences and give me one example. Only one, only one. She said, I like. I like this She said, I like the class. Okay, very good job. She said, I like the class. That was nice. It, even driving, you see? <laughs> okay, Mario, I understood. Okay, even when she's driving, she was giving good examples of a sentence. Another example? She said, she run five kilometers every day. Okay, she says she ran five kilometers every day. Good, another example? She said she was looking for her keys. She said she was looking for her keys. Very good, another one. He said he was staying there until the following week. Okay, he said he was staying there until the following week. Very good, another example. I told you, if you don't have it, Google it, but I need you to read one example. He said he had gone to the theater the night before. 
He said he had gone to the theater the night before. Very good. Okay. My Is mother said she was busy. My mother said she was busy. Very good. Christian. Uh, he said they will finish his report in two days. Very good. He said he will finish his report in two days. One more. She said she liked that shirt. She said she liked that shirt. Very good. Okay. Excellent examples. Excellent examples, the ones that you gave me. Okay. We are going to go over the attendance, right? We are going to go over the attendance. Remember, when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present, okay? Let's start. Ana Raquel Villalta. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Antonio. Present. Claudia Maria. Okay, uh, Diana Elizabeth. Okay, I see Dianita, but I cannot listen to her. Good, uh, Jorge Humberto. Jose Jonathan. Present. Thank you, Jose Rodrigo. Present. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Yvette. Manuel Antonio. Present. María Concepción. Eh, María Elena Guadalupe. Present. María Ernesto. Present teacher. Nelson Gabarrete. Mr. Nelson. Hey, I saw Nelson. Ah, yes, he's right here. Okay, Norma Carolina. Olga Marleni. Present teacher. Silvia Suleima. Present. Tatiana Michelle. And Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. And Christian Natal. Present teacher. Okay, very good job. Thank you for your answers. Okay. So, thank you for uh, answering, being on time, and for sure, for paying attention to the attendance here. We're going to go back and I am going to share my screen again with all of you. And we are going to start with a little picture. In this picture, we have different situations and I'm going to show them to you. Okay. Let me move it a little bit here. Okay. I think I can move it in a better position. Okay, there you go. Here you have a class and here you have different expressions that they have in the class. What are the expressions that you can see on the board? What are the expressions that you can see here? I am going to make it bigger and then I am going to move it. What is the first one? <laughs> I am sticking this poster on the wall. I am sticking this poster on the wall. The next one? Don't understand, I don't understand what he's saying. saying. I don't understand what he's saying. The next one. This teacher, this teacher gives too much homework. This teacher gives too much homework. What about the next one? <laughs> it is boring. This is a boring lesson. This is a boring, lesson. Lesson. Is a boring, boring lesson. lesson. Maybe it's science. The next one. <laughs> I don't, I don't have, have a, a pencil. pencil. I don't have a pencil. pencil. That's, a, that's a very common in my class. I think this I, is me. I don't have a pencil, teacher. Not what teacher. about the next one? I am I going, to, I'm play going to play tennis, tennis after, school. after school. I am going to play tennis after school. What is the next I one? Hate, I, hate, I, hate I hate tennis. tennis. I hate tennis. The next one? 
I can, I can go, go with, with you. you. I can go with you. And the last one. I love, I love this, class. this class. I love yeah. this class. Okay. That is that is true. For sure. Very good. Me too. <laughs> I love this class. I have here a lot of different classmates, right? And I need you to help me to report what they are saying and who is saying each phrase. You are going to do it in your notebook and you are going to include one of your classmates on each of the phrase. Okay, it's it's just an example, okay? Don't get angry. <laughs> Imagine if I say, Christia said uh, this teacher that the teacher gave uh, too much homework, right? It was like, no teacher, I didn't say anything. It's just an example, okay? I need you to take examples from the class. I need you to take people from the class, take names and create examples, right? For sure, the first one there, it says, the teacher said he, how would you report? ¿Cómo reportaríamos la primera? The teacher said he, past tense, he, he, he was, was sticking, he was he sticking, was sticking he this poster sticking on the wall. This poster on the wall. Okay, ¿cuál era el cambio que hacíamos con this para reportar? That. That, very good. That. Okay, the teacher said he was sticking that poster, that poster on the wall. the wall. Okay, you have the first one. Teacher Natty said she was that. sticking that poster on the wall. And then for the other ones, you are going to use different people from the class. You can say, Wendy told me, Wendy said, Wendy recommend, Wendy suggested, Wendy mentioned, right? That, or you can say, Wendy mentioned um, that this teacher, that that teacher, and you use the past tense and the sentence, okay? So try to create your sentences. I need you to create at least five. Okay, here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine sentences. I need you to create at least five with a, okay, be creative, right? Create at least five sentences. With, with our number, we, with our name, you can use your name if you want, but try to use different people. You can use Wendy, Manuel, Ana, Cristia, Diana, Nati, wow. right? You can use different people. And how are you going to do it? I need you to send me the sentences on the chat, okay? For me to check and correct, okay? Me van a enviar esas cinco oraciones aquí al chat de Zoom o al chat de WhatsApp, al mejor que les, al que les salga mejor. ¿Para qué? Para que yo les pueda revisar y corregir. Go ahead, write five sentences in reported speech using the sentences that we have here. Teacher, are the same sentences changing the tense, the past tense, or yeah. another? No, no, you can, you can use depending on the, on the, well, here, I think you only have one with, with going to. Yes. Yes. You, that you have the only one that was going, right? That is the only one that past continues. But for all the other ones are past tense. But you have to use, for example, uh, Wendy said that uh, she loved that class. Okay, you are going to report. Me va a pasar el detalle de lo que ella dijo. Entonces, esa oración la vamos a cambiar para reported speech. Okay, try to do it. Y la vamos a corregir. Okay, try to do it. the chat on Zoom or in WhatsApp.
Okay, I have sentences in the chat. Juan de Dios said he was sticking that poster on the wall. Very good. That he was sticking that poster on the wall. Very nice. Great, Wendy. It was a very good sentence. Now the other four. <laughs> Ahora solo le faltan cuatro, vamos. You can do it, you can do it. Follow the example. Okay, I have another one. She said that the lesson was boring. Very good. Manuel was sticking that memorandum on the wall for the employees. <laughs> Very good. You made it to the office, right? You transformed the classroom into, into an office. It is horrible when you see the person with a paper to the wall. Mm -hmm. Maria said, okay, Maria is a, is a she. It cannot be Maria said he. Bueno, ahora sí, ya no se sabe. Okay, today. <laughs> it can be Jose Maria, right? And it's a man, right? So Maria said he didn't have a pencil. Jorge said that he hated tennis. Very good, Claudia. Jorge said that, that he hated tennis. <laughs> and Jorge is not here today. Todos somos Jorge ausente. I didn't have a pencil yesterday because I lost my backpack in the bag. <laughs> Aha, now I, I am going to give you one example. Okay, I have examples here. Okay. Okay, I transformed the one that Juan created into reported speech. Juan mentioned he didn't have a pencil because he had lost it on the bus. Right? I reported what you said. Manuel said that the teacher gave too much homework. Hmm. Hi, Manuel. Ana Raquel said she doesn't understand what he's saying. Very good. Julio said he did not understand what Claudia was saying. <laughs> Very good. Very good sentences. Excellent. Miss Nati said that was a hey, that was a boring lesson. <laughs> Well, it, it, indeed, it was challenging, but not bad, right? Miss Nati said that uh, that was a boring lesson. Manuel said that he had loved the class. It's okay. You can you can use it with or without that. It's okay, Christian. It is. It doesn't change the meaning, right? Manuel said he loved he had loved that class, or that he had loved the class. Jorge said he didn't understood. Aha. Uh -huh. In this case, as you have didn't, the auxiliary, you don't change the verb. So you say, didn't understand what he was saying. Okay. Okay. Miguel said he didn't understand what he was, what she was saying because it was Chinese, Silvia, because it was Chinese. Después de because, siempre tenemos que poner un sujeto. En este caso, no falta it. Jose Rodrigo says, Jose said he loved with D. Okay, he loved the class. Hagamos el pasado de love, Jose Rodrigo. Mary mentioned he was, okay, Mary, otra vez, María, María José. Hagamos de caso que es María hombre. 
Mary mentioned he was playing tennis after school, right? In this case, if you have Mary, it's Maria. It's a, it's a girl, right? She. Let me see if I have on the chat on WhatsApp. Chen, chen, chen. Yes. I have some sentences here. Okay, Diana says she was going to join as a listener today. <laughs> I am reporting the messages on the WhatsApp group. Okay, it says, teacher, estoy en el trabajo, aunque estaré as a, aunque estaré as a listener. Tatiana said she was going to be a listener tonight. Okay, and uh, Catherine Dominguez said uh, that she was going to be waiting for you in class and that your teacher was going to be here. And I can report all the different messages that you have there. Okay, thank you very much. Mario added he did not have a pencil. Right? Good, you're using different verbs, that's nice. Christian Natalie said she doesn't have a pencil. Okay, Christian Natalie said she didn't have a pencil, right? Ella dijo que no tenía ah, un lápiz. Okay. Okay, very good job. Excellent sentences. Excellent sentences, the ones that you created, right? What is the reported speech of this poor man right here? What is he saying? He says, what is he saying? He says he was sticking that poster on the wall. That is what the teacher is saying. What is the teacher saying, people? The teacher said he was sticking that, that, that poster on the wall. That poster on the wall. Here I have Ana Raquel. What is Ana Raquel saying? Ana Raquel said he she he she don't she she, did, she didn't understand what he saying what he is saying was what he was, what saying. He was saying you transform everything right very good here I have Claudia Melendez as you can see here. What is Claudia saying, people? Tienes el peinadito. What is Claudia saying? Okay. Claudia saying. Claudia uh, said. Claudia said that. That. Uh -huh. That teacher gave too much Ga homework. Gave. Can you make third person the past? Gave. Gave. Aha, uh -huh, gave. Very good. <clears throat> Aquí no pasó nada. Claudia Melendez said that teacher that gave teacher too gave much homework. homework. What about. Really? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. This is Jose Rodrigo. What is Jose Rodrigo saying? Jose Rodrigo saying. Jose Rodrigo say that, that was a boring lesson. That was a boring lesson. <laughs> that, this that, is was not, a boring. <laughs> that this is not. That this is not. That okay. that was a boring lesson. Very good. Jose Rodrigo, you are the example. Okay, here. Okay. Here, here we have, who is going to be this one? Uh, we are going to have Jorge Humberto. Teacher. Yes. Jorge Humberto said he didn't have a pencil. And she doesn't understand. Is that uh -huh. right or didn't? Well, in the case of uh, the, the one on the chat. Yes. Okay. If you are reporting that on the specific moment that the person is talking, Haga de caso de que estamos los tres en la misma sala, que está, está usted, está, por ejemplo, Cristia y está Manuel. Pero una de los tres no está entendiendo. So like, uh, she says she doesn't understand. In that case, 
you are reporting that she is not doing it on the moment that's present, right? But if it happened in the past, si eso pasó ayer y él, ella le contó ayer que no entendía, you say she said she didn't understand. Okay, so both cases are correct. The only mm. thing that we have to do the difference is when you are sharing the message, right? In this case, the two sentences are possible. What about the next one? Here mm. we have Jorge Humberto. Ah, uh, Jorge. Jorge said he didn't have a pencil. He didn't have a pencil, right? Here I have Mr. Nelson Gavarrete. <laughs> Let me see. What is Nelson saying? Nelson was copying. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not copying. He's announcing. Uh, okay. What Nelson is Gavarrete said? He was going to to play tennis after school. Very good. And what did uh, Mr. Manuel Antonio said? I don't know. <laughs> Manuel said he. Manuel said he hates the tennis. past tense. The past tense of hate. He hated, hated, he hated tennis, right? But Christian Natalie, what did she say? Christian said. Christian said she couldn't go with you. Okay, in this case, you have to transform can for what is the model that you use instead of can? Could. Could. Could, couldn't. because it's, a, no, it's could, could because could. this is affirmative, okay? Yes. So affirmative. In this case, could. say, Christia says she could go with she could go him. With. Could. He, that she could go with him, okay? Yeah. Porque estamos hablando aquí yeah. de Mr. Nelson Gavarrete que va a ir a esquiar. Oh, no, perdón, a play tennis. Tenis. Ya lo estoy mandando. <laughs> ya lo estoy mandando. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, but Christia said that she could go with him. And what did the students say? The students said. Diana said. <laughs> no, this loved, is in general. The, the students, students said the they students love said. this class. They love this class. That's Very class. good job. They okay, or that class, that class, because we are talking and reporting a different thing. That class. Very good job, my dear students. Love you know, love. the reported speech is not complicated, but you need to be very delicate and you have to be careful at the moment of transforming, right? When you are sharing a chambre, hey, you don't think about, I know, este es participio, este es pasado, este es continuo. No, it's like, y mira, y le dijo, y de repente, entonces aquella le tiró no sé qué, y vino, y de repente la señora le aventó así el zapato. Y fíjate que de repente vino la policía y los ahorró todo, y el policía le dijo, no se muevan de donde están. And yeah, so when you are telling a story, when you are sharing something, you don't think about the correct grammar, the correct pronoun, nothing, but you do it very well, right? So you have to keep in mind the same thing for when you, for the moment of creating sentences with reported speech. Well, I have here a couple of phrases, right? I have here a couple of phrases. And what I need you to do right now, this is not about reported speech, but I need you to write your point of view about the sentence, okay? I need you to read them, right? I need you to read the phrase. I need you to read the quotation. And I need you to write your point of view about each of them, okay? This is going to be free writing. Free writing. It's not a grammar topic. It's not a specific sentence. This is your point of view. And the sentence is like this. Ana Raquel, can you help me to read the sentence? The greatest mistake you can make in life is to continually be afraid you will make one. Okay, I need you to write your point of view about this sentence. The greatest mistake you can make in life is to continually be afraid you will make one. Okay, what is your definition? How do you understand this sentence? 
Right, in a couple of lines. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Ah, not to be afraid. So you say like, I understand from this phrase that, and then you write a couple in there. Escriban su punto de vista en uno, dos, tres renglones. You can give one example. You can, uh, you can tell me something about your life that go, goes along with this one, or just your point of view. When you have it, you can open your microphone and share it. Teacher, may I say the people don't, don't or doesn't? The people. The, okay, the people. In this case, you don't have to say the people. That is a very common mistake because we in El Salvador, we add that to everything. Okay. You say that teacher, that Natalie, that Christian, the Manuel, no. You don't have to say the people. You say the people, people. Okay. People don't because it's plural. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Oh, okay. You Thank you. Whatever. Thank you. Even in Spanish, no digan la Wendy, la Cristia, la Silvia. That's not okay because we are not objects, people. In English, that teacher, you say. That teacher, Nati. No, don't use it like that. Okay. You say teacher, Nati. Ana Raquel, you don't say, ay, la Ana. No, <laughs> don't do that. No, my dear class. What is your point of view about this phrase? If you have it, you can share it. Do you have it? ¿Alguien tiene su punto de vista? Teacher. Yes. Uh, I understand with this statement, people don't, don't stay in the same position because every day gives an opportunity to learn a new thing. Very good, right? Every day gives an opportunity to learn something new. That's pretty something good. New. Okay, or a new thing. That's okay. Both, both cases are correct. Okay, hey, very you. good. Thank you very much for your point of view, Ms. Amanda. Very good job, very good job. Another one. Someone else who wants to share his or her point of view? Teacher, I think uh, this is uh, when we 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 are afraid to to search with the other people or English when we have to express about our our experience or skills but we are afraid to the people uh, comment about our accent or i don't know i think it's very common okay and i think it's applicable for for that okay you say you are afraid of people making fun of you right you are afraid of people uh, laughing about it. the greatest mistake you can make in life is to continually be afraid of uh, making one what happens yeah. in the class you say no uh, Juan de Dios is going to answer because he, he knows a lot of English and I never answer right but and I like, think we are here because we want to learn exactly so like that so our, our opinions and and whatever 
Exactly. That, we like have that. <laughs> that is the great, the greatest mistake, right? Be when careful. you are afraid of sharing because someone is going to make a mistake. Wait, go ahead. I don't understand nothing. Okay. You don't understand the phrase? No. Okay. Let's analyze it. That's important. Be honest. If you don't understand, you don't say like, ah, see, teacher, see, see, see. And maybe you are not getting it, right? <laughs> okay. It says the greatest mistake. What is the meaning of mistake? Error. 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 The greatest mistake. El error más grande. The greatest mistake you can make in life is to continually be afraid you will make one. Okay. El mayor error que puedes cometer en esta vida es estar siempre afligido por cometer uno. So that is the phrase. You don't have, you don't have to feel bad because you make mistakes. The problem is that if you don't challenge yourself to do the things. Okay, so that's the phrase. What is the definition that you have? What is a comment that you have about it? Olga Marlene? I think it's my comment about this that we learn from mistake exactly. and we should be not be afraid. Okay, we learn from mistakes, so we shouldn't be afraid of making a mistake. Very good. I have another one. Can all of you help me to read the phrase, please? One, two, and three. You know, if you don't build your dream, you don't build your dream. 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 Someone will hire you to build theirs. Okay, alguien te va a contratar para que armes los sueños de ellos. If you don't build your dream, someone will hire you to build theirs. To help, to help build theirs. Okay. A construir lo de ellos. <laughs> exactly like that. If, imagine if you don't work for your dreams. You are going to be working on someone else's dream all the time. Share the other. Build. The other phrase, teacher. No, no. The other phrase. The previous uh, one. The, this the one? Thing. Yes, previous. Previous. I uh, share. Go ahead. Screen. Done? Thank you. Okay. So, what do you think about this phrase? ¿Qué me dicen de esta frase? Mm -hmm. what we do have you to fight every day for our dreams. Exactly. We have to fight every day for your dreams. What is a dream that you have, people? What is a dream that you have right now? Learn to, English. To learn English. Good. So, you have to fight every single day to learn English. What is another dream that you have? To start to be a business. manager of my, of my company. To be the manager of my company. Okay. To start my own business, Mario says. What type of business, Mario? A car wash. A car wash. So start with one. Empieza lavando uno, dos, tres. Y ahí se va a ir regando la voz. The idea is to start only, building only, your only dream. Mine. <laughs> no, but you see, you have one. Pay yourself. Pay yourself for this. What is another dream that you have? Mr. Juan de Dios, what is the dream that you have right now? To be uh, my uh, own manager. To be your own manager. <laughs> That's fantastic. I think that is everybody's <laughs> dream. And it is the most challenging. Cuando uno es su propio jefe, es el triple de estricto. <laughs> when that when you are working for someone else because you don't have someone over you telling you what to do but you have to work more Sylvia what is a dream that you have 
Um, right now, visit to my mom. To visit your mom. So you have to work a lot to build that dream, right? Nelson, what is a dream that you have? Look, uh, I dream, I dream is a, a little pet. Uh -huh. Sorry, what is your dream? I just got the connection lost. Is uh, I dream is a pet brown. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. a pet brown or a or a grooming pet. Grooming, yes. Okay, grooming tener pet. tener tu propio negocio. I have it. Yes. You ha have but you it. have it. Sí o no? Ya ya it. lo tiene, ¿no? Yes. Ya, ya lo tiene, bueno, pero hacerlo más grande el negocio. That's yes. pretty awesome. That's nice. That's your dream. Norma Carolina, what is the dream that you have right now? My dream is uh, travel. I'll travel to see uh, my brother. Okay. I'm more, more, more than 15 years of no seeing. Oh my him. God. Well, so that is that it's a very beautiful dream, right? To travel to see your brother. You know, there are many other things in life, but many people say that if you don't say to yourself what you want, you don't get it. So I invite you people to grab a marker, to get a pencil or a paper and write your dream and put it there in the restroom, in the bathroom, in the mirror everywhere. Póngalo en un papelito, en un post-it. I want to travel. I want to learn English. I want my own business. I want this. Write your dream and put it on the most common places that you visit in the house, in the refrigerator. Put it there next to the chocobananos, right? Put it there for you to read it every time that you get a chocobanano, right? <laughs> So write your dream. If you don't write your dreams, you are not going to fight for them and someone else is going to hire you to build their own dreams. The next one, what do you think about this one? Who can help me to read it? If you can do great things, do small things in a great way. If you cannot do great things, do small things in a great way. I teacher, I cannot speak English. The little that you can, do it correct. I teacher, I cannot paint. It's horrible. If you are learning, keep practicing. I teach it, I sing horrible. <laughs> Practice and the songs that you know that are nice, do them in a great way, right? When I do a, a small thing in a great way, only mistakes. <laughs> when you do a small things in a great way, no, avoid the mistakes, right? Try not to make mistakes, right? The problem is that you, well, in many of the cases, people say, I see algo chiquito lo que vamos a hacer. Entonces lo hacemos así solo por hacerlo. Lo hacemos así como en buen salvadoreño, a la vale chonga. Aunque sea chiquito, do it great. Vamos a ordenar un cuarto, let's do it great. Vamos a doblar esta ropa, let's fold it great. Ay, voy a ir a, a, a pintarme las uñas, let's do it great. If you do something small, do it great. And the last phrase that I have for you. Go ahead. What is this one? Continuous learning is the minimum requirement for success in any field. In any field? Fields. Continuous learning is the minimum required for success in any field. Mm -hmm. Never stop learning. Yeah, teacher. Be curious. Investigate. Practice. Every day, right? Every day. What happens? Imagine if you say, 
ay, voy a, voy a ahorrar dinero, pero solo me voy a de 10. Ajá, pero si pone una en enero, una en marzo, una en septiembre, una en diciembre. At the end of the year, you are going to have only like one dollar. But if you do it every day, right? One in the morning, one in the afternoon, two on the second day, three on the next day, four on the, five, on the fifth day. So continuously at the end of the year, you are going to have a lot of money because you have been patient and consistent exactly with anything that you learn in life not only english your job the things that you do your family uh, the relationship with your kids the relationship with your wife right continuous learning si sí, ella se casó conmigo porque me ama no continuous learning building up the relationship que un dulcito que no sé qué que un choco panda Mira, te traje este chocolate del bus. So, continuous progress, right? Un bonobón. Un bonobón, right? You never know. Because if not, <laughs> another person is going to give one bonobón to her. <laughs> un, un ferrero. <laughs> Hay chocolate. Sí. Le va a dar un ferrero y usted sin it's llevarle a, un bonobón. Es a, a bad chocolate. Yeah, well, Ferrero, I, Roche, it's, it, it's yeah. strange. I mean, it's yeah, it's yeah. it's curious. It's a curious chocolate. It, it's very uh, sneakers. Well, <laughs> they are they are nice. They are delicious. So yeah. continuous progress, continuous work. This is the minimum requirement for success in any field. So, my dear class continuous learning, right? Today we started reported speech, investigate more, practice more, be curious about. That is something important, right? So I keep you these four different phrases for the night. Here I have a short conversation for us to practice a little bit of reported speech, okay? Here, I have it, okay? It says, Mrs. Kent asked Jim where the memos she had left on his desk the previous morning were. Jim answered that he was sorry, but he had thrown them away by mistake. Mrs. Kent told him that that was a silly thing to do. She also asked if he had taken any photocopies of them at least. Jim replied that he had and that he had put them in a file. Mrs. Kent asked Jim where the sales invoice, invoices were. She also said that she had been looking for them everywhere. Paul answered that he had got no idea himself and suggested asking the secretary. Okay. What was the main problem of this conversation? ¿Cuál fue el peor error de esta conversación? I mean, in, in the idea, not in the grammar. What was the problem? What was the situation? Where are the memos? The memos, where are the memos? But what was the biggest problem with the memorandums? The invoice. Uh -huh. No, no, no. What was the biggest problem with the memorandums? It's in the second paragraph. She, he had he a away. mistake. He, he had thrown them away. He had thrown them away. It's like, imagine if you are here, right? And you say, Yeah, look, like, ah, and he just threw them away. It was like, ah, to the garbage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> to the cutter, right? Bye-bye. <laughs> that was the biggest mistake. But what was something that he did that was okay? What was the good thing about it? The, the photocopies. 
exactly that he had taken photocopies. He had taken photocopies of them, at least before cutting them. Like, <laughs> so he got photocopies. And then Mrs. Ken was asking Jim where the sales invoices were. She also said that she had been looking for them everywhere. And Paul answered that he had got no idea himself and suggested asking the secretary. So they didn't find the invoices. Here, practice with me. Mrs. Kent asked Jim where the memos she had left on his desk the previous morning were. Miss Kent. Jim answered that he was sorry, but he had thrown them away by mistake. Jim answered that he had thrown them away by mistake. Thrown them away. Thrown them away by mistake. Mrs. Kent thrown them away by mistake. Mrs. Kent told him that that was a silly thing to do. Mrs. Kent told him that that was a silly thing to do. That that was a silly thing to do. She also asked if he had taken any photocopies of them at least. She asked if he had taken any photocopies of them at least. At least. Jim replied that he had and that he had put them in a file. Jim replied that he had put them in a file. Put them in a file. Mrs. Kent asked Jim where the sales invoices were. Mrs. Kent asked Jim where the sales invoices were. Where she was, um, was where there. the sales invoices were. She also said that she had been looking for them everywhere. Paul answered that he had got no idea himself and suggested asking the secretary. Paul answered the secretary. Okay. Yes. Here you have the conversation, right? Here you have the conversation. In this conversation, we have three different characters. Mrs. Kent, Jim, and Paul. Okay, we have three different people. What are we going to do? I need you to go in working groups and you are going to create the conversations in a normal way, okay? Van a crear la conversación como que ustedes lo estuvieran viviendo. Okay? Aquí yo les conté la conversación. Mrs. Kent asked Jim where the memos she had left on his desk the previous morning were. How do you do that in a normal conversation? Hey, Jim, where are the memos I, had, I left on your desk uh, yesterday morning? Right? And you create the conversation in a real life situation. Okay? You are going to create this conversation in real life. Like if you are doing it in the moment, okay? Como que estuviera pasando en el mismo momento, okay? I am going to send you to working groups of three and you are going to recreate the conversation with these people there. So I need you to screenshot it because we are going to use it. Here you go. I have three, 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 and one group of four. Okay, let me see. In this one, I am going to move. Okay, get the conversation, please. 
because I am also going to send it to you WhatsApp. Do you get the idea of what you are going to do? ¿Les queda claro lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Okay. Yes. One, yes. One, a simple conversation. Okay. The conversation in the normal form, right? In normal speech, right? You are going to analyze. Este sería como el script de su actuación. Okay. So I need you to go and practice with your group right now. Accept my invitation to go to the groups, please. Accept my invitation. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. Let me see, I have... Okay, I have three, three, two. Okay, I'm going to move this one. ¿Verdad? Sí, así se ve en la primera meme. Uh -huh. Luego contestaría Jim. Can respond. She has left on his desk. Aquí dice She has left on his desk. Eh, respond. Can. Ah, uh, Jim answered that he was sorry, but he had thrown them away by mistake. So in that case, you say, oh, I'm sorry. I threw them away by mistake. Okay. I throw. I throw. I threw them. I threw them away by mistake. Mm -hmm. I threw I them. Threw them. 
away, away by, mistake. by mistake. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, Hello? Teacher. I need your help. And, the, and your classmates? Classmates. <laughs> what happened? Who, who was in your group? I don't know, teacher. Suddenly disappeared the, the, the two classmates. Hey, come on. Okay, I'm going to send you here. Don't worry. There you go. Jim, where, where the memos? Uh, yesterday, yesterday in the morning, I left on your desk. But the robot le voy. Okay, it says, uh, where are the memos that I left on your desk yesterday morning, right? Mm -hmm. Where are the memos that I left on your desk yesterday morning? And what is Jim is going to, what it, what is going to answer in this case? Who is Jim? Uh, me? Okay. okay, Juan de Dios is going to say, I'm sorry, but I threw them away by mistake. Okay. So that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to transform the sentence into original affirmative, okay? Okay. It is not that complicated. Okay, and in this one, right here. I'm sorry, throat, then. I'm sorry, so you say. I'm sorry. I threw them away by mistake. I, I threw so them away by mistake. Then away by mistake. Good, very good. And then Mrs. Kent. Sylvia, are you Mrs. Kent? Hola. Tú eres Mrs. Kent, Beth. Yes. yes. Okay. So Mrs. Kent is going to say, well, that's a silly thing to do. Did you take photocopies of them at least that's a silly thing to do. Did you take photocopies of them at least? And for sure, Jim is going to say, yes, I have. And I put them in a file. Yes, I have. I put them in a file. In a file. Okay. Yes, I have. I, I put, put them, them in a file. In a file. And then Mrs. Kent is going to say, eh, Jim, Jim, where are the invoices? I have been looking for them everywhere. I have been looking for them everywhere. And Paul, that in this case it's Nelson, you say, I have no idea. I suggest you go and ask the secretary. I go. I have no idea i have got no idea i have got no idea i have got no idea i suggest I asking the secretary i suggest i suggest asking, suggest the, asking the secretary okay 
Okay, let's, I'm going to go and check on the next group to see if they need help. I will come back in a moment. Okay, thank you. Asistencia. Sí. <laughs> sí. <laughs> yeah, we, we did it before, but we're going to do it in the second round in at uh, 940. But I marked okay. you on the previous one. Ya la marqué en la primera, ya la marqué. It's okay. Okay, practice the conversation. I want to listen to you. Who is Mrs. Kent? Who <laughs> is Mrs. Kent? We haven't finished, teacher. Ah, ah okay. <laughs> I thought you had them already. I need Mrs. Kent, I need Jim, and I need Paul in the conversation. Go ahead, practice. I'm going to check on the other ones. Okay. Yeah. I'm really sorry, but he had thrown them away by mistake. But I throw them away by mistake. Remember that the conversation is on you. Ustedes tres están haciendo la conversación. Pero en so tiempo say, real. Ajá, uh -huh, en tiempo real. So you say, I'm sorry. I threw them by mistake. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ajá. Uh -huh. Very good. I think Esa it's... Es la idea. I'm really sorry, but I, I throw... I threw them by mistake. I threw them away by mistake. Yes. yes. what is the what is the first part of the conversation? Does it say where are the memos or where the memos? I say, Excuse me? Jim, where are the memos? Where that are I the for this yesterday morning? Ah, mm -hmm. so you say where it's are the hard. memos that I left on your desk yesterday morning? That's the complete sentence in present, right? Not in reported. He says, Jim, I'm sorry. I threw them away by mistake. Okay, I threw them because that is uh, affirmative. I threw them away by mistake. Entonces la tercera, la tercera oración, ¿cómo sería? Okay. That was a silly, a silly thing. It is, you are saying that. That is, mm -hmm. that is a silly thing to do. That is a silly thing that to do. Is, Yes, because you are the one mentioning. Sí, en la misma oración le pregunta. Exactly like that. Are you take any copies of that? Did you? Did, did you, you take? Did you take any copies? You say, ¿le sacaste copia? Yes, I did. You say. Did you finish? Uh, no, no. Ah, teacher. <laughs> okay, go <laughs> ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We are writing. That's good. That's a very in, good in idea. In our notebook. Your part or all the conversation. To practice. Okay. Let me just. <laughs> Wendy, who was your group? ¿Con quiénes estabas trabajando? Estoy con Cristian y Rodrigo, creo que se llama, y Rivas, Juan... Juan, Juan Carlos Rivas. Rivas. Okay. Ah, Juan Carlos Rivas. Ok, good. There you go.
escribe or, o, sino que at, at last podríamos poner al menos. Al menos. So you say at least. At least. At least. Mm -hmm. least. At least. Do you know? Um, do you know where? What is the sale invoice? Okay, so you say, Mark, uh, Mrs. Kent, ask Jim, right? Do you know where, yes. okay, do you know where the sales invoices are? Do you know where the sale invoices are? Are. Yes. Okay. I have been looking for them everywhere, you say. Do you know? Do you know where the where? sale invoices are? I have mm -hmm. been looking for them everywhere. Mm -hmm. I have been looking for them everywhere. <coughs> okay. Be looking for them everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. Entonces, Jean answer. No, this is Paul. Ah, sí. Paul oh, answered. Well, the other he, person. Yes. Mm. Paul answered that he uh, didn't have idea. And I, I don't have idea. It says, I suggest asking the secretary. Mm. I don't have an idea. It says, I suggest answer asking the secretary. Okay. Okay, good, very good. I don't have idea. I suggest asking the chocolate. Welcome back, my dear class. Welcome. Here we are going to work. Let me see. We have two groups. There you go. Teacher, I have a question yep. with the platform. Yep. Uh, the platform. What exercise do we do? Do we have done for today? Okay, I sent you a little chart on the WhatsApp group. I don't know if you are in the WhatsApp group, Mr. Juan. Ah, uh, sorry. I sent you a suggested advance. And here in the platform, let me just, let me just resend it. I sent you two. I sent you one for the platform and one for the one-on-one -on -one meetings. The one for the, pot, for the platform, it's right here. Okay, and I send you one for the one-on-one -on -one meetings as well. That today, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be for Jorge Humberto, but he's not here. Jose Jonathan Vigil, that will be your turn. Jose Jonathan. Nos damos por enterados que nos quedamos un ratito al final de la clase. 
Yes, teacher, no teacher. No teacher, next week, please. Ah, okay. Let me see. Uh, Jose Rodrigo? I don't have Jose Rodrigo today. Okay. Uh, Juan Carlos Rivas Joel? Not today. Ah, yeah, because you're working, here. right? It's true. Yeah. Juan de Dios Mejia will be so you can go on vacations. Okay. With me. Okay, you can go on vacation together. Okay, so there you have the follow up meetings as well, right? And there you have the information. Oh, there you can find it, Juan de Dios. You can find the one on one and also you can find the, the platform. It, it is suggested that you have finished section number one on the platform, okay? It is suggested that you finish section number one on the platform. If you cannot do it, well, for sure, try. Try to have it done for tomorrow morning. I but, try to do. Okay, try to do it. Thank you, Christian. Try to do it for tomorrow morning. And for sure, uh, if you have any question, ask, okay? Well, my dear team, Let's go over the conversations. It is curious because you had to do the easy part and that was difficult. La tenían que pasar a su, a su parte fácil y hoy se les complicó. <laughs> it was like, teacher, it reported speech is very difficult. And indirect speech, it's really difficult as well. Group number one, I have here, let me see. In group number one, I have Jose, Jonathan, Norma, and Olga. Can you help me to go and perform the conversation? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Norma. Normita. Norma. Norma. Se nos perdió Normita. No, ahí está. Ahí lo está esperando. ¿Ya está lista? Ese? Good morning, Jim. Where tenemos? Where tenemos la princesa? I'm sorry, but I am saw them away by mistake. Jim, but did you take a photocopy? Yes, Mr. Ken, Mrs. Ken, but I have put them in a file and I forgot them by mistake. At least do you know where is the boys are? I've been looking for them everywhere. I I don't have an idea. I'm suggested asking the secretary. Okay, good. You did your best effort. Great, ladies. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Excellent job. Reactions for your friends, people. Come on. Send a little reaction there. A heart, a clap. Very good. Okay, group number two. Group number two, it's going to be... Chin, chin, chin. Let me see. Group number two is Carlos Antonio, Juan de Dios, Nelson, and Suleima. Go ahead. Action. Jim, where are the memos? I left on your desk yesterday in the morning. I'm sorry, I thrown them away by mistake. This is a silly thing to do. Do you take any photocopies of them at least? At least. I, at yes, least? I have. Yes, I have. I put them in a file. Where are the silent invoice? I have been looking for them everywhere. I have got no idea and head as the secretary. Ask the secretary. Very good job. Hey, you did a very nice job reporting in the indirect form. Very good job. Now, here we go with group number three. Group number three, it's composed by 
Ana Raquel, Claudia, and Mario. Action. Okay. Okay. Jim, where are the memos that I left on your desk yesterday morning? I'm sorry, but I have to throw away by a mistake. By mistake. That is a silly thing to do. Did you take any copy at least? Yes, I did. I put them in a file. Where are the sales invoices? I have been looking for them everywhere. I have no idea. I suggest ask the secretary. Very good. I suggest asking the secretary. Very good job. Reactions for your friends. Reactions for your friends, class. Excellent. Very nice. Good. And last but not least, we're going to have Cristian, Juan Carlos, Manuel, and Wendy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, Manu, uh, where are the memos that I left on your desk the previous morning were? I'm sorry, but I I have I have thrown them away by mistake. Hey, Manu, that is a silly thing to do, but do you have any photocopies of them at least? Yes, I put them in a file. And where are the sales in boys? I'm looking for them everywhere. I suggest yeah. asking the secretary. Very good. I suggest asking the secretary. Very nice. Great <laughs> job, my dear yeah, students. You. Now, let's do this together, right? We are going to work on this together. I have it right here. What is the normal form of this sentence? Mrs. Ken asked Jim where the memos she had left on his desk the previous morning, where? And here you have, where, where are the memos I left, I left this morning on your desk? Okay, where are the memos I left this morning on your desk? Because the, the reported speech says, Mrs. Ken asked Jim where the memos she had left on his desk the previous morning, where? Where are the memos I left this morning on your desk? That's the original sentence. What about number two? Who can help me with number two? What is the original form? I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I threw threw them away. Them oh, by mistake. Away by mistake. So you say, I'm sorry. I threw them away by mistake. Okay, that is the original form of this one. What about the next one? Mrs. Ken told him that that was a silly thing to do. Can you say? That is a silly, that that a silly, is a silly thing. thing to do. That, that is, is a silly thing to do. Do you did have... You take a, did you take okay. any copies at least? Did you take any copies? at least, right? That is the indirect form, right? That is a silly thing to do. Did you take any copies at least? Because here you have, uh, she also asked if he had taken any photocopies of them at least. Did you take any photocopies at least? And in this one you say, Jim replied that he had had and that he had put them in a file. So you say, I had, I put them on a file. And that is the form of the sentence, right? I have, I put them on a file, you say. And it is like, oh, okay. I put them on a file, right? What about the next one? Mrs. Kent asked Jim where the sales invoices were.
And in this one, you say, where are the sales invoices? What is the next part that she added? I, I have been looking for them everywhere. I have been looking for them everywhere. Okay, I have been looking for them everywhere. As you can see here, here you have the transformed sentence, right? And the last one, Paul answered that he had got no idea himself. This is as simple as to say, I, wait, sorry. This is a, as simple as doing this. Ash. I have no idea. I have no idea. I say, I suggest asking the secretary. And that's the sentence in the Peter. recorded form. Yes? In the case of I had, I put them on a file. Is I had or is I have? El pasado okay. o presente en ese caso. Okay, in this case, he replied that he had. So you say, mm -hmm. because you said, did you take photocopies? Como aquí tenemos pasado, por eso lo pusimos pasado. Did you take photocopies? Yes, I had. Okay. Imagine in this one, it's so like, that's a silly thing to do. Are you going, uh, in this case, you cannot say, are you going to take photocopies? You cannot say, do you take photocopies? Porque ya se arruinaron los archivos. Entonces, así como, ¿le sacaste fotocopia? Did you take any copies at least? And you use the past tense here. So that's why you say, I have. Okay, sí lo hice. I had. I put them on a file. That's why I use the past tense here and the past tense right here because of the logical of the sentence. Okay. Yes. Okay, so that's the phrase. I am going to be Mrs. Kent and you are Jim. Students, where are the memos I left on your desks this morning? Uh -huh. I'm sorry. 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 I'm
¿Por qué estás enojado? <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I threw them away by mistake. Okay. So, you see, be careful on your work. Don't throw away papers that you don't know what we are, if you are going to use them or not. Okay. In a normal way. In a normal way. What are the memos I left this morning on your desk, people? I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm 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 sorry. I'm
What do you say to telemarketer when they call? Uh, well, when the, the telemarketer called me for a new product, I answer, please, I'm not interested for um, anything product. Oh, I am not interested on in any product. Good. Yeah, that's a very good answer. <laughs> and, the, and the other is, please don't disturb. <laughs> So I said, no, no, you have a wrong number. I said, two teacher, two person in the same day. No, that no, 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 no. <laughs> that is not from God. Yeah. Let's see, I have a chat. I said, my friend, ah, not to, not to drink. I said, my friend, I said to my friend, not to drink alcohol. Right, I said to my friend not to drink alcohol. Yeah, alcohol is for a coronavirus, right? You don't have to drink it. <laughs> you just have to wash your hands only. Okay, what is the second one? Okay, I have one for Manuel, one for Wendy. What about the other ones? Do you have your answers? Mr. Mario Villeda, Claudita, me, Christian? Go me ahead. Teacher. Oh, uh, the second question, what was the surprising question that someone asked you? Uh, someone tell me, do you want to travel with me for your birthday? Because my birthday is Mir. Hey, me too. <laughs> and the or me too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> come on. <laughs> and the other one uh, is what did your parents always tell you not to do? And my mom always say me be careful with all the people that you have confidence. Okay, my mom always told me or told me always tells me if your mother is still with you right yeah my mother okay. my mother always tells me to behave comportate <laughs> and i'm like <gasps> but yeah i am i am i am very chill <laughs> so when, whenever i go out i love to have fun um i said to my friend not to drink alcohol jesus said he is the truth and the life yes for sure wendy he is indeed juan de dios what are your answers my answers are um the first one the first one the the first one uh, the advice the advice that i gave to my friends was to keep the calm in the world. To keep uh, calm. <laughs> the, be the better days are coming. Okay, better days are coming. Better days uh, are coming. The second, uh, I, I say to telemarketers when they call me that I am not interested on the product. Okay, I am not interested on the product. Let's see. Claudia, Mar Claudia Menendez? And the what's a memorable quote from someone you look up to? I said it better than oops than a uh, what if. Okay, and that is from from the third one. Okay, very good. And let me see. No, no, no. From... <laughs> so cute. Who is the author, sweetie? Uh I don't have it. <laughs> no, but it's okay. It's okay <laughs> from the third one. And I was like, Anonymous. <laughs> Anonymous. <laughs> Anonymous by Claudia Melendez. Okay, yeah, good. Definitely. Let me see. Ana Raquel, what are your two questions? Um, what do you say to the telemarketers when they call? Uh, I listen to your offer and I deny it. <laughs> uh -huh. tell me more 
Uh -huh. Tell me more. Ah, <laughs> and what else? Ah, good, good price. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, well, no, thank you. <laughs> that's that's, that's evil. Thank you. That is evil. Believe me. <laughs> what is the next one? Uh, what was the last thing you I put in <laughs> to your friend? Uh -huh. um, the next Saturday we go to the coffee shop. Okay, next Saturday we are going to go to the coffee shop. Very good. Norma Carolina, what are your two questions? Uh, what some advice have you got a friend's assembly? Um, she is uh, doing a postgraduate degree. Uh -huh. um, she studied a lot and put a lot of positive attitude. Okay, put on a positive um, attitude. Very good. And the next one? And the second, um, what was the last thing you said to your friends? Um, see you in the cinema. See the you next. at the cinema. Very good job. Excellent. Silvia Suleima, what are your two questions? Um, what do you say to telemarker uh, when they call? Um, I don't need a one car more. <laughs> okay, I don't need another car. I am okay with the ones that I have. Okay, very good. <laughs> Tell me, and this is a and question. Second... Uh huh. Go ahead. Oh. No, no, no. Go ahead. Uh, what? <laughs> what was the last? you say to your friends uh, more or less uh, you should have passion uh, the better thing come on to your life in your time okay okay you have to be patient you say you have to be patient okay. because you cannot actually have passions right you have to be patient because patient. better days are coming ahead. Let's see. Um, Mr. Jonathan Bihil. No? Mr. Mario Villeda? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh. I'm sorry. The question. Uh -huh. Which, which 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 one? Answer any that you want. Well, let me check. What's my bank account? I know. Uh, the first one. The first one. What's my advice you give for your resume? Actually, today I recommend our friend. Uh, they have to go out with his girlfriend. Uh huh. Because they don't see it too much because he work and she study. Oh, he needs to go out more often with yeah. his girlfriend. And I have one question for everybody. And once you answer, you can leave. Tell me what was something that your parents were always telling you not to do. Don't marry a teacher. <laughs> and did you do it? Me too, teacher. <laughs> and is your your wife near? It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Juan Carlos, did you get married? I, I over the end. I divorced teacher. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for the lady, okay? I don't have bad. I, I single teacher. <laughs> oh, you're single. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I obey. You are very I'm obedient obedient. to what your parents obedient. told you not to do. Okay. <laughs> ya no tengo malos pensamientos. <laughs> Ay, come on. <laughs> now your heart is in peace. Good, okay. very good. What teacher. was, yes? Uh, the attendance. Hi, very good job, my, my dear Manuel. Exactly on time. I am going to do it. But oh, me, oh, oh, yeah, everybody. Hashtag Manuel. Everybody. Okay. In the meantime, continue telling me what did your parents tell you not to do? Ana Raquel Villalta? Angry. My mom said, don't get me. <laughs> don't get angry. 
Ana Raquel. Uh, my mother always said me, uh, don't forget the umbrella. Ah, ya, yeah, don't forget the umbrella. Carlos Antonio. Present teacher. Claudia Maria. Here teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Jorge Humberto. Uh, Jose Jonathan. Present Miss. Thank you. Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Linda Yvette. Manuel Antonio. Present. María Concepción. María Elena Guadalupe. María Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Nelson Gabarrete Merino. Present Miss. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Olga Marleni. Present teacher. Silvia Zuleima. Present teacher. Tatiana Michelle. Wendy Maribel. And Christian Natalie. Present teacher. Very good job. Uh -huh. What Carlos, did they say? Hey, Mr. Carlos, thank you. I call you, I call your name. Okay. Your parents always told you, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this other, because they knew, right? And now you are doing it with your kids, right? ¿Hay algo que le digan ustedes a sus hijos que no hagan? Many things. <laughs> I say, behave in class. Be a good student, I always say. Don't, don't make crazy things don't at fight. school. Don't fight. <laughs> don't fight, <laughs> right? And I, as a very good teacher, I will continue and I will tell you. Study, study, please practice your English, do your homework, okay? No quiero que me pongan queja. Mira, teacher, ese grupo. No me funciona. No, I know you are going to do a fantastic job. My dear students, this is the end of the class. We are going to stop here. Have a beautiful week. Have a beautiful weekend. Continue practicing. And if you need anything, let me know and send me a message, okay? Have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you in the next class for sure when I come back. Okay, thank you. Good night. Teacher. I'm going to Good stay night. with Juan de Dios for a second. Bless Good night, you. teacher. Bye. 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 <laughs> bye. Take care. Bye. bye bye. Only five minutes, Mr. Juan de Dios. <laughs> it's going oh, to be sorry. very short. I was saying bye. I was saying bye bye. Come on, come on. It's because you are on vacation. You see, I am going to leave you free for yes. you not to do anything else during the vacation. Okay, yes. Mr. Juan de Dios. How has your life been going? My life is going very well. That's pretty awesome. Because I have a, a good health. You have good health, good. I have my family very, I, I have a, a happy family. You have a and happy I, family. And I have a, a a world stable, a stable, stable, a stable world. Work good for today, tomorrow. <laughs> we I never know. know. <laughs> okay, but and think... how is the English usage going? Are you using English as part of your work? No, no, not right now. And no, what are your no. plans? What are your plans uh, to learn English? Uh, my plan is uh, to, to improve my skills and my uh, curriculum. And to improve your curriculum, very good. To yes, enhance improve, your curriculum. Yes, improve my curriculum. And for the future, I don't know what happened. Okay. In the future, and but I, I want to be pre 
prepare. Prepare, prepare. Right? I want to be prepared, you say. Yes. Good. So what are you doing, Mr. Juan de Dios, to continue preparing? Taking class every day <laughs> for two hours. Taking classes <laughs> every day. Night. That is a very good answer. At night, you say, at night. At night. At night when I should be sleeping, you say. <sighs> but it's curious. Yes. Imagine, what would you be doing if you were not in class? Uh, watching TV, action movies. Watching I TV. Like. Uh -huh. But imagine it's like just a moment in your life on which you Or dedicate. sleeping. But yeah, sleeping. I sleep a little before the class, don't worry. And then when <laughs> you start the class, you are fresh, like a lettuce. Yes. Okay, what else are you doing? Are you, are you practicing with any other type of a, a strategy, material thing? Uh, no, I... I practice with my boss. Uh, he is he is too um, improving his English. Uh, okay. He's he's taking class two in another um, school. Oh, that's nice. Online. Uh, we are in the same situation. <laughs> <laughs> you are in the same situation but you yes. see that is something really good if you have someone that you can practice with it is really good because you can actually have this interaction with the language and do you practice face to face yeah yes. okay that's pretty nice because it a little can, bit but uh -huh. that is true but try to do it not just a little bit try to do it like an everyday thing Hágalo parte ya de su día a día. Not even for anything. Don't use Spanish with him. Practice a lot your English. If you have difficulties or, or you get stuck, for sure, you can speak a little bit of Spanish. But the idea will be for you to practice your English with him. That will be very okay. good. Okay, so okay. practice your English with your boss. Practice your English with series, with action movies for sure with a lot of listenings, with a lot of practice, and you are going to get the dreams that you have, right? To improve, to change your future, your curriculum and everything. Okay, Mr. Juan de Dios, okay. I wish you to enjoy your vacations, rest a lot, right? Practice your English a lot. And okay. I think that's it. You have been advancing very well, right? And I am very proud of all the things that you have acquired, right? Continue practicing because it's going to be Thank very you. beneficial. Thank you, Juan de Dios, for these minutes. Have a beautiful night and rest you too. a lot. Bye-bye, mister. Bye. Take care. Bye.